four-time All-Star guard Kemba Walker, Walker has agreed to a contract buyout with the Oklahoma City Thunder. And upon clearing waivers, gentlemen, listen to this, plans to sign with the New York Knicks. Sources telling our Adrian Wojnarowski. So, Max, let's start with you. What's your reaction to this news? It's a nice fit. He's, um, he, first of all, from the area. Secondly, uh, and that's not even first of all. First of all, he's a very good player. He's like a mini Kyrie Irving, but a good locker room guy, a leader, all that stuff. He's undersized, so there are defensive issues and all that. But there's a bigger issue here. For all the hype about the Knicks, they are now locked in long term to a team whose ceiling is the second round. We know they're not getting to a conference finals with this team. It's like a typical Tibbs team so far. But it would be one thing if they had flexibility going forward. But they're locked in long term. We saw the playoffs. Julius Randle is at best a th really a third best option on a championship caliber team. Maybe a second best option on a championship contender. He's not a first option. Unless, Sam, the th and I, so Kemba's a nice fit, but it's indicative of the fact that the Knicks have once again stalled um, in this latest kind of reboot where people are getting enthusiastic about it. They're once again in a position where they're unlikely to really break through and contend for a title based on the commitments they have to the players. The one guy I can see on the team, Sam, who he, he, if he breaks through and it's possible, maybe they could be better than that, is Barrett, RJ Barrett. But I don't know, like, can he go from a guy who maybe one day might make an all-star team to a perennial all-star? And even that move, absent a major superstar say, demanding a trade to the Knicks and the Knicks being able to put some of these guys together for him, they've stalled. Yeah, Max, I actually really like this move. Obviously, New York had Julius Randle succeed last year, and Julius Randle played well. But now you're adding Kemba Walker, right? We all know what Kemba can do. We all know he's talented. Now you're getting better. Is it where you want to go? No, but you've got a former MVP, Derrick Rose, so you have him in place. You have, you have Julius Randle in place. You get a point guard in place. So, it's, and so no, it doesn't, it doesn't get you tremendously better, but maybe you do have a, a, a guy who wants to go to New York and make New York great again. I think that this is a really good move for the New York Knicks. I think it makes them better. I think you get a floor general in Kemba Walker who wasn't doing well in Boston. We saw what happened even, even last year. I think this is a great move for New York, and I think it's a step in the right direction. Yes, more needs to be done. That is obvious. That's abundantly clear. But this is a very good step in the right direction. Okay, but how many, like, I've seen this before with the Knicks. I'm, I'm, I'll be 48 in a couple days. I've never seen them win a championship in my lifetime, and I've seen iterations of teams like this one make moves like this. It's a step in the right direction, apparently. But actually, it's kind of like if you're a kid and you're playing one of those mazes. You're, 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 your mom takes you to a restaurant with the, you know, right? And they give you the kid's menu and it has that little maze. And it seems like you're making progress, but ultimately it's a dead end. And the, the route that looked like maybe, let me take this route. It's not, but it actually gets you there. This ain't the route that gets you there. This is the dead end route if you're looking for a championship. I'm just being honest about it. I'm not hating on the Knicks. Sometimes I like to, but that's not what I'm doing now. They, they are, a, they're a tough out. This Knicks team is a tough out. They have a bunch of players who are above average at what they do at best, and they have no breakout stars. Derrick Rose is tremendous at this point in his career, but it's at this point in his career. He's not what he once was. Um, you know, guys like Robinson and some of the other supporting cast, they're nice players. There are no impact players that can carry a team to a championship here, obviously. Yeah, with, without a doubt. They need more. New York needs more. But even with those mazes, you go through those mazes, you go the wrong direction, and all of a sudden, I got little kids, they do the mazes, they go back and they find the right way. So I think this is going out that direction and saying, hey, all right, we made a little progress, we figured out what works, but let's go back and let's find one of those superstars that may come and say, I'm going to come to New York, right? We talked about it. Let's, we talk about super teams in L.A., super teams in Boston, what if we could make a super team in New York? Find one superstar, <laughs> some impact player to come and really be the go-to guy. There is a super team in New York. There is a super team in New York. There is a, There's super, a super team in New York. They play right there. It's not too far from That's us. Team in the NBA when healthy. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.